Ooh, how do you like the fade job? Remember the fade? I'm trying yes. to figure out the fade. Good afternoon, everyone, or evening, or whatever you want to call Ooh, there we go. We'll go wide. Perfect. Look at that. Hey, look at that. I clean it. You're welcome. Look at that. Fernando finally put those cabinets to good use. So, hot dog there. <sighs> Good evening everyone and welcome. We have a bunch of fun and excitement planned for you tonight. As you can tell from the flashy lights over here, a it's ton a party. of cool stuff going. Oh, I gotta go this way. Okay. Smack. Uh, the con tons of cool stuff in the back. Anyways, before we do that, let's start the show the way we always do. Give us shout outs, let us know where you're from and all that fun stuff. And of course, we're going to tell you who made it onto the cover of the 12 volt clean wire club. Elias. How exciting is that? Elias is missing up. You should have made the drive. Yeah. All right, here we go. Let's head over to the laptop. All right. And for those of you that aren't familiar with the 12-volt clean wire club, it's a place you can go and show off all your cool clean wiring. Uh, however your style is, as long as it's clean, well, then we get to put it up there. And then Fernando will scour through it every week, and then someone gets to have theirs highlighted. We talk about it here, as well as you get the top of the page all I'm week. just wondering what kind of car is this? It, I have no idea. It has a big battery in the back. Is that a battery? It is a battery. Yeah. I don't know what that is. That looks cool, whatever it is. Good it job. Is. Who who brought this to us this week? Uh, Dustin. Dustin, you're the man, mm -hmm. Dustin. Congratulations. You put yourself together a really nice looking piece. Way to go, man. Way to go. Yeah. All right. So for those of you that would like to have your picture spotlighted, by all means, submit it. Be cool. Show us what you got. And... You never know. If Fernando likes it, well then, boom, there you are. That's right. Are you excited? I'm excited. I'm excited too. You guys, anybody want a bottle of water? You guys water? water? You good? You want a bottle of water? All right, yeah. hold on. Let me, let me, okay. Hold on. Hold on, guys. We weren't. We have guests, so. We have guests. I think that the ones on the top, the ones on the top, open the little thing. This one's cold. No. This one's open, cold. The, open the fresh. Uh, oh, wait, this, one, this one's mine. Don't want that one. Alright, so here's. <laughs> here you go. This one's yours. Okay. What's up from England? I had a mountain. That's probably still uh, in the car, country boy. Oh. It's not gonna be right there? No? Oh, there, you there you go. I didn't drink right, it. it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Alright, everyone's everyone's beverage dump. Ground zero, that's what that's <clears> right. <throat> yes. Alright. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you that don't know what Ground Zero or Sound Digital are, let's take our, let's let's look. All right, let's head over to the laptop. And what we have here is GroundZeroUSA.com along with SoundDigitalUSA.com, makers of fine products that we're going to learn all about tonight. We have both Ground Zero and Sound Digital here represented by one person and one person only. You might be wondering who... Who? who? Who could that possibly be? Who? Tommy who? Tommy, please come on the stage. Yes, come on. Introduce man. yourself and say hi to the fine folks at home. Hi, everybody. How are you guys doing? I'll answer for them. We're doing good. Thanks. Thank you for asking. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for having me. Uh, <laughs> I'll quit. I oh, did yeah. not turn my phone off. All I'm right. Sure. Everybody else did, just so y'all know. Yeah. Oh no, it was so Mr. that's Mark Rutledge. That's, <laughs> this is what he likes to do. He does this because he knows he's like, I bet you he didn't. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Thank you, Mark. No, I don't. Anyways, tell us who you are. What why are you here? Who are you from? Like we know okay, so let's let's back it up. What's your full name? Uh full legal name or no, just name? give me a name. <laughs> I knew uh -oh. I was hoping you were gonna say that. <laughs> Uh, no, my uh, my name is Tommy Spears, uh, Director of Marketing and Sales for Ground Zero and Sound Digital USA. Uh, pretty much cover North America. So. Do you do Canada? Uh, kind of, sort of. Jacob mostly handles Canada, but I help out when needed. All so. right. If you hear periodic smacking through this, someone over here doesn't have a Sony. They have a big-ass cannon that makes all kinds of shutter noises. By all means, have fun. <laughs> it's a cannon, so I'll accept that. I mean, I'm good with that. <laughs> All right, we got a lot of stuff. So normally we'd spend a bunch of time getting to know your background and your history. Suffice it to say, you've been working for them for? Since February last year. And that's when we met in California. You guys might remember that. It was this little show we did called Knowledge Fest. We had a wonderful time. It was the last time any of us got to do anything cool. Hang on, uh, yes, that's the YouTube commercial guy right here. And this is the YouTube commercial <laughs> guy. The car. <laughs> this is the car. We're gonna go over this. 
with uh, Fernando a little bit later. But like I said, we got a lot of stuff to talk about, and if Fernando will come back over here and grab the Fernando cam, yeah, 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 yeah. we'll get started because I want to make sure we cover as much of this as possible. If you guys have questions about these two brands, by all means, ask. We'll try to get to them. I'm not going to promise you anything. But with that being said, you excited? I'm excited. Let's go. I'm, I'm about ready to die. All right, you got All right. Let's make sure the Fernando cam is working. Let's start with the new stuff. Okay. And we'll go over here. And all right, you're all set. All right, so, so all right, so tell us what, what is this? So these guys are actually the new uranium line okay. uh, we just released, uh, replacing our old line. It's a new uh, Neo style, uh, six and a half inch mid bass driver. It has a two inch voice coil, aluminum cone. Uh, super proud of these guys. Sound amazing. Um, we just did a video ourselves of these that we're releasing soon. Uh, but super excited. Um, Ooh, it's, it's rubbery. <laughs> they heavy. Like yes. they really. Uh, heavy. So we actually use some of the the purest neo magnets. So a lot of people always say neo neo neo. They don't really know. Um, that there's different grades of neo. Okay. And if no you way. don't get the best grade of neo, <laughs> you might have problems down the road. So it comes with a grill, right? Yes, uh, okay. grill. Is right here. So just in case you want to put it outside. Yeah. So I kind of give you an idea. Nice little looking. Ooh, I like. I like. I that. like that. I yeah. like that. So. Like that. so Do they make it in the coaxial? I only ask that because it's uh, like no coaxial grill. in this line. No coaxial. Yeah. No I'm coaxial. having a really hard time with yes, the English language yes. lately. All right. Um, so. So what's unique about this line too? This is where we start a la carte. So you will order your pair of drivers. Uh -huh. Six and a half drivers. If you want to go three way, you'd order the eighty millimeter. Okay. And also Neo. And then you would order your pair of tweeters. Or if you wanted to go two way, order your six and a half and your tweeters. And then right now, thanks to Corona, we're waiting on the crossovers to come over. They're on a boat, uh, just waiting on for them to come to port so okay. they can come in. If you want to go passive. Um, but we decided to go with a a la carte to help stores like you guys, you know, not have to carry a two way active, a two way passive you know, multiple SKUs. This way you can kind of build your own kits with what so, you need. So for example, I'm going to go passive right now, right? So I just buy the mid base and my Twitter. Yep, and in the go. future, if I'm going to go like three ways set, I'm going to go crazy. Just buy a pair. To of... Just add that one. Perfectly fine. You've been active. You yes, passive. I'm yep. sorry. No, that's no, what that's I said. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I just wanted I to correct think. it for you. Yep. Thank you. Hold on. But what's... Second, Fernando. Oh. Wait. Time out. Time out. Hold on. All right. Listen, guys. You guys are asking great questions and I really appreciate it because you guys are asking awesome questions. But no jumping ahead. You guys are asking about other stuff that's on the table. Be patient. <laughs> yes, we're going to go through that. Be patient. We got a ton of stuff and we are going, everything is on the table. We are going to touch you feely. But yeah. the questions you're asking, the answer is yes to most of them. Just be calm. And be if calm. we run out of stuff, we have more in another car. We're not going to run out. It's only an hour <laughs> show. We're like, all right, let's get back to Fernando. Sorry, right. guys. Discover this. Yep. Well, what's really, you know, another, like what you pointed up, if you did go a two-way passive mm -hmm. and say later on you wanted to go three-way active or three-way, um, our, our crossover setup is to do um, quasi-active. So it's the same. Quasi-active? Yep, you go quasi-active if you want to go three-way. So then you just, all you have to do is order a set of these. Or if you wanted to go active, take the crossovers out and order a set of these. So it's a really unique lineup uh, to be able to be very diverse and improve on your system without having to go through and replace everything. So when the passives come out, is it going to be a biampable passive? Do we know yet? That would be a Jacob question. That's okay. <laughs> okay, okay. We'll just go with uh, TBA. Yeah. <laughs> TBA on that one. So um, this one is, how big is the tweeter? This is a unique tweeter also. This, so this is a 28 millimeter tweeter and a 25 millimeter housing. And then it's also that a custom... so many funny movie quotes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's actually a hand-built tweeter. Um, as you can see here, let me see if I can do this in one shot. Probably not. You're live. No. Nope. Oh, actually, yeah. Oh, look at that. So as you can see, there is some black cotton back here. Mm -hmm. uh, this is actually tuned for this driver. So it's an open back tweeter. So obviously, if you're doing an install, you do not want to backstrap it or whatever you do to mount it. Um, it's designed to be this way. Uh, hence that's why important. this has it. Yep. So okay. that's one important thing I like to let people so know. So if I want to remove this plastic, can I... Oh no. I have not personally tried yet. Okay, okay. No, I mean, on, let me that's see. fine. Let me see. 
uh, it know. is glued into place. Okay. So the tweeter is glued into the mount. The and reason the I grill, ask is because some people like to... Well, the nice thing too is like the grill is glued into place, but mm -hmm. I like... See, the problem I always have is that when you put the grill over the tweeter and then you put it behind the grill, mm -hmm. it always you always have that like grill on grill action, but this has really big openings. So we won't have to worry about that, and and it's also grill, glued in. So I mean, if you're gonna pull it out, but that's a pretty tall dome. That's so nice. I would definitely leave this on. Man, that is a big dome. Holy crap! <laughs> All, right, All right. Now, before we go on, this tweeter was available in that. Yep. And that so it with any, that. anyone that got the 25th anniversary has this tweeter in it. Or if you were thinking about getting the 25th anniversary, if there's still any left, which there probably isn't. Got a few left. There's probably but, some floating around, but it yeah. came with that tweeter. This was yep. when we when we got this and we talked about it a lot. It was that tweeter was why we were so excited because we knew this was coming. Okay. All right. Sorry to interrupt. No. Okay. Back to the show. So where is you this aluminum? Go? Yes, aluminum cones. Okay. On all of so them. It's yep. And this is a aluminum. coated silk dome tweeter. So very natural tweeter. That's one big thing. Very very natural. I like it. I like the. I, I like. I this. like the copper. The copper style to me is really so nice. sweet. Yeah. Wish we would have brought a sub because our our subs have the copper accents. Really? Also. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> but they can find it on the website, right? Yep. If they want to see it. Okay. Um, I believe Diogo's updated the website. Okay. Um, if not, we will be having Eric. When when do you think the the uranium video that we made it'll be next week? Yeah. So we'll actually have a uranium video showing the amplifiers and subs. And this, nice. um, it's not it's not too much of a detail. It's more of a B-roll video. All right. So, what are you going to talk about next? We have a lot of products. So, all right, let's 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 bring this one <laughs> over to the bench. Okay. And, and you can you can uh, we'll, we'll look at this guy here, and that way we can come back a little bit full screen. Got me off. I was really <laughs> it was into a nice it. Fade. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, oh, oh. Beautiful fade. All right. Yeah. Uh, all right, I'm gonna turn Fernando back on. All right, there we go. Ah, uh, that's a Monday deal. Okay. Commercial free ad. All right, <clears throat> so, all right, somebody had asked, is this the new Sound Digital Marine amplifier? Yes and no. It's the new Sound Digital Power Sports amplifier. Um, so. <laughs> all right. So explain me that. <laughs> it sounds well, semantics. when you when you say marine amplifier, uh -huh. you narrow it to a certain a certain genre of of. Play toys. Okay. Yes. Um, so we wanted to go bigger. All know, play toys. All play toys. All adult play toys. Well, kids play toys too. You can put it on a yeah. power wheels if you want. Um, so a lot of big improvements. So this is the 804 Evo PS. Uh, this is a new amplifier that'll be releasing hopefully next month. Um, this is an 800. Yep, 804. So do you have the 804? Yeah. Uh, is that an 804? Yep. I thought it was a four. The one that was in Nando's car. Yeah, that's an 800. We have a whole bunch of them. I know. <laughs> okay. Know what we have. I mean, um, I have the small one. Very similar size. It's just with this notch here, a little bit taller than the Evo X version of it. Um, so that? while he's looking for that, we're going to. Yeah, keep talking. Um, as you notice on the Power Sports, mm -hmm. we went with Tiffany style RCA connectors. Like uh, better connection, also being able to seal it up. So these amplifiers will actually be IP64. Okay. So they will allow it to, air quote, get wet, um, not fully submersible, because uh, it is an amplifier. Most amplifiers, you, you know, once But the, you say it's IP6, IP6 rating. IP64. So, okay, so, IP64. Yep. Um, one thing we did is obviously, because it being, we want that IP64 rating, and we have no cooling fans on it. Uh, we actually, I believe on this amplifier, we increased, um, so 801 is the same chassis size as the, 804. So, pretty much with the feet, similar footprint as the Evo X line. Okay. Um, oh, I have it upside and, down. Hold on. And like you say, you can put it anywhere because I yeah. can put it in my car. It doesn't matter. Yep. It doesn't have to be in a power sport. Well, no, or... that's where it's going to end up anyway. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, so ultimately the idea is whether it's a Jeep customer, bike customer, ATV customer, snowmobile, because I'm from the north, um, boat, snowmobile. you know. Yeah. Whatever you want to put it in that may have to weather the elements, yeah. uh, that's what this would be. So we will have a 804 version, 801 version, 1204 version, and a tw uh, 2004 version available soon. And then 
we may see some more new and exciting things in this lineup in the future, but I'll leave that to another video. That is uh, so <laughs> when, when are these going to start to ship? Uh, we sh we're dealers will start to be able to take pre-orders on, on the 15th of this month, and we're hoping to see them next month. Um, I'm just going to say sometime between the first and the end of the month. So okay. this, this is a prototype. Just because it is guessing. Corona season. Oh, it is. So. It is even more. Oh, I know where this should go. You say prototype. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not well, saying I like Dean, this one's going with us. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> I'll, I'll pay for shipping when you get home. He's going to fuck it up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, all right. And then this is a, this is a four channel? Yep. Okay. Yeah. So it's got it's the, like, it's got the shared. Four. Nope. We actually, that was a running change we did um, last year with the Evo X. Right. Um, you guys have the prototype. Pro, or no, you actually have a different one. Um, so you had the shared terminals. Yes. All the 804s and 404s now have common terminals. Okay. Nice. So that was a big upgrade. We did a running change we did last, uh, at the end of last year. And we so. got to reshoot the video now. <laughs> All so, right. Um, All right, so let's see how we're doing. Yes. That is tiny. It is definitely it tiny. It is yep. tiny. It is nice. I like it. And the it style. is heavier. It is uh, heavier. It has a larger thermal, you know, larger heat sink. Yeah. Um, again, because we, we couldn't put a fan on it, and we wanted to keep it as sealed up as possible. Um, one thing you'll see in the pictures that are coming soon when we start releasing more pictures of them is you'll see the type of end caps and covers and everything that will go on it to help for like covering up the switches, that type of stuff, um, to help keep moisture from getting in it. It is a conformal coated board on the inside also. And unlike our, um, or with this board, um, we're actually using gold plated on the board. Oh, so, hold on, I have that picture. Yeah. <laughs> you sent it to me. Wait, let's look at cool pictures. And it's it's gonna be the wrong direction because somebody sent it to me and, the, and I haven't changed it, so. Let's just let's just take a look we'll, at it. We'll blame it on Elias. Ooh. So the bottom is the Evo X board, okay. and the top is the Evo PS. So we have gold <laughs> terminals, gold bus bars, plating. Yeah, you guys get what we're looking at. <laughs> it's pretty. Clearly. It is pretty. So. so the top one is the new. The top one is this. The bottom is the non non recreational yeah. amplifier. And and just so I, just so everybody knows, um, I know a lot of people asking, is Evo X getting discontinued? No, Evo X is our primary line. It will stay current. Uh, the Power Sports line is just we saw a need, and we have the capability of developing it, and that's what we wanted to do. We're gonna go back to the table. Before we head back to the table, I have one question because I'm with Jonathan. Me too. <clears throat> Five channel amp. Okay, back to the table. <laughs> Grab your camera, Maybe. Fernando. Maybe. There you go. All right. The reality is, is these are so small. I mean, come on. Well, I mean. Uh, I know. It's just we're. You we're, can show the, the two amplifiers in there. I will so. tell you I'm begging for it. Um, we can beg in one hand and pray yeah. in the other. I'm begging for two things in this line. And uh, as soon as I can say something, I'll let you all know. Maybe Santa Claus is coming. We'll let you know. All right, let's head back to the table because over on the table is some big stuff that I am really excited about because I love big things. We just looked at something really small. Let's just go to the biggest thing over on the table right now. All right. That will be that me. Mom. That will be me. <laughs> oh, geez. All right, let me get these out of the way. All right. Let's talk about this giant, giant thing here. That what? What is this? Dude, hang on. Yes, I know, right? You just noticed that? So did I. Wow. All right, look at that. We have dual zero gauge power and ground inputs. Yeah. And fan. Uh -huh. Why am I talking? Talk, Tommy. <laughs> so obviously we have dual inputs. Um, this is the ground zero 12K. Uh, we have a one ohm version and a two ohm version. Uh, one thing I want to let everybody know, I know Dean and Fernando have kind of, you know, explained this um, to a degree. So with ground zero, our model numbers, okay. obviously you have GZ, ground zero. CA competition amplifier and then the actual model number okay so that's how we make it easier for people to understand what lineup it is so like the uraniums will be those speakers we just showed mm -hmm. they'll be GZ SQ UC no. well Uranium. actually because they're a la carte so you have GZ UT which is the tweeter okay you have GZ UK okay which is the kick and then GZ UM, which is the mid. So it kind of helps, once people start to see that correlation, it helps them understand the model numbers. 
Yeah. Um, all right, so let's talk about size. Let's let's put some perspective on this. All right, so hang on. Like, look Wait. at this one. It says line in and line out. It's because you can do multiple amplifiers. Nice. Yep. Okay. So instead of accidentally plugging in two RCAs and then going, Wait. I don't understand. Yep. Um, they conveniently put a sticker over it, which is right. kind of nice. But let's give some perspective. Go a little right. wider on the shot. So this is my phone that you guys are familiar with. This is what, the 12, 13, whatever? It's a 12. It's got the three lenses on it. So here we go. There, that's, the, that's the monster there. Now, just to put that in perspective, what we were just looking at in the AT all-terrain, you know, not marine amplifier, but marine <laughs> amplifier, there's my phone for that one. So we can add some scale to the love and excitement that we got going on here. Now, of course, we all know that we're going to run this on our subs and this on our highs, right? Correct. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the unique thing about the Ground Zero Competition amplifiers okay. is they are also full range. So you have the capability to do full range. Wow. Full range monos. How much power is this? 12K. 12K. Okay. A one on. <laughs> It's everybody, a stable one there's on. a need for everybody. Oh, hey, I'm all so, for it, man. I but got whether you want to run watt tweeters, whether you want to run subs, or you want to run a lot of doors, door speakers. What's it stable down to? An envelope? Uh, this one is the one ohm variant. One ohm. And that's the one of the things that's so you have to buy it according to the ohm load that you're going to be yeah. running. Very similar to Sound Digital. And it has Oddly. a clip indicator. Yes. Right there. It's really nice. Now is this a is this a production made for retail? This is not a prototype, right? So this no, is no. The these are product. these are in stock, ready to go. Yeah, um, these have been around for a while. We just started bringing them in last year um, to the American market. Okay. Uh, so we actually had a you know somebody wanted to go all one brand with big big power. You know we have Ground Zero covered all the way from top to bottom. Now because we don't want it to feel alone, let's move on to what is this one? What that is, is this one? the five K. One, uh, one ohm variant. So 5k, so, okay. So we have 12, 5. Don't make him dizzy, Fernando. <laughs> um, all right, so you said these are both the one ohm variant. What are we capable of buying? How many variants are there? Two ohm and a one ohm. So we get them two and one ohm. Make sure you buy accordingly. It'll be M1 or M2. This is a dual zero gauge input too? No, this is the single here. Let me turn around for you and get a little cool shot of it. There you go, sir. However, if you wanted to run it, I'm sure the bus bars will fit without any problem. <laughs> Just like we did on the 3K. That is right. Nice. Speaking of, what, what else do we have? Alright, so we have this little guy right here. I mean, this is, this is tiny. This is actually our most popular amp in the lineup. Uh, the 1.5, which is a 1500 watt amplifier. Okay. 15. So, I like it. 1500 watts. And all right, there again. Alright, let's put it in perspective. Alright, let's bring the phone. There's, there's the phone. Look at that. Don't pull out an Android phone. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> uh, all right, so we got, all right, let's take a look at this. We have four gauge inputs, yeah. eight right. gauge outputs for the speaker. Speaker. And this is one ohm stable too? Yes, it has an M1 on it, so that would be one ohm stable. Let's go back around to the other side. You have your, what do we have? Do we have a subsonic filter? I can't see. Have uh, high pass, bass boost, boost frequency. Oh, it's right there. Well, yeah. I just want to. Perfect. And all these have the clip indicator, protection light. Very nice. Yeah. And this Guys. is all ready to ship, right? Yes. We have this yeah. ones already. Yeah. We have these in stock. And ready to go. So we actually have um, we have the 1500. I don't have all of them with me today because Elias mm -hmm. stole some of them and went up north. Um, we have a 1500. We have a 3K, 5K, 8K, and 12K. Do they make any two channels or are they all monos? Uh, no, no more two channels at the moment. So this is straight monos. Yep. So the the 15 is the smallest. Uh, 15 is the smallest in this lineup. All right, but I mean. Ground Zero obviously has several other lines that you could team up yes. with this if you wanted to have. If I mean, I get my OCD where everything, all the stickers <laughs> have to match. But I mean, conceivably, you could do three 15Ks. Yes. I'm sorry, not 15Ks. 1500s. 1500s. Ah. <laughs> yeah, you could do. 
Yeah. You technically do three. Uh, if you want to run front doors, one each, and then one for the sub, you could. <laughs> I mean, but wait, when hey, you man, say when you, you say this is the smallest one, come on, man, it's 12 k. Is there anything bigger than the 12? Did you say? Uh, no. Not in, in this line. Stop at it in this in okay. for ground zero. I know where this would look good. Anyways. <laughs> Yeah, right there next to that one. All right. All right. All right, so with that, let's come back over here and let's come back to the main. We'll give Fernando a minute to take a rest and rest his arm. Let's talk about Sun Digital for just a brief moment. One of the new products you guys just came out with is this little guy. Not that guy. What happened there? This guy right here. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about this. So that's the 402 Evo X. Um, that one is one of the last for the lineup of the Evo X that was announced in 2020 or the end of 2019. Uh, we were waiting on a little bit of technology to catch up because uh, it did not exist, so we actually had to create it. Uh, but what's nice about this, this is the two-channel version of the 404, one of our most popular little amplifiers that you guys played around with multiple times. The one we just had out. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. So um, it's a very unique lineup and a lot of people ask why we did a two channel because you can use it as a mono or you can use it as a two channel you know full range or sub amp um, so it's a perfect little setup for most people so it's a hold on you got four hold on oh, forget I yep didn't change the microphone my bad thank you Christopher <laughs> thanks we were listening it off the one at the floor <laughs> rookie move all right, so this is the first time let's we're doing just start over. We've so. done it before. Sorry. Anyway, so yes, yeah, so like go the ahead. First time you've done this in a year, yeah. or so, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, but it, it, it's a really nice capability of 200 by four at four ohms or 400. Uh, Was it 400 by one at four ohms? I believe. Um, so my my idea for this little guy here was you get the the 404, the 400 by two, and the 800 by one. And that allows me to do the ultimate system where I can take the 402 on mid-bass, the 404 on tweeter and rear, and the 801 on my sub, and I've taken up this much room. Oh, totally. Like, like, just turn them sideways, all the wire come out of the bottom. That would be yeah. so cool. That there, would, there's, that, your, there's your seven channel. There's your yeah. seven channel of fun yeah. and excitement. Oh, yeah. I think that would be really special. And I could fit it all inside of my Orion Beast heatsink. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're thinking about. Like, that's how we're like, okay, we can put all inside. I was like, yeah, there you go. There's, I'll, there's I'll see if Diogo can send you a 20K chassis. Ooh, <laughs> that would be awesome. Oh, I want one of those anyways. I'm not, we've talked about this. Uh, all right. I love those sizes. I would, I would agree. Uh, all right, so before we head back over and take a look at the green thing on the table, let's talk a little bit more about Ground Zero as a company and Sound Digital as a company, just to like fill people in on who they are. Can we do that? Yeah. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the history of, of Ground Zero, um, just like where they started, where they're from, what their kind of idea is. You know, the, the, give me the give me the spiel. Okay. Ironically, um, Ground Zero is known as a German company. Um, it originally started in California, USA, back in 1995. Really? Yep. Uh, they were getting out of it, and Carl, the present owner, fell in love with the line. He was the distributor in Germany and ended up buying Ground Zero as we know today. Um, I believe back then they were GZ, is what they were known as. Um, and then they bought it and created Ground Zero. Uh, they do all the engineering, um, everything from the ground up, use a clipple, all that stuff. Very passionate guys about the industry. Um, you know, I've worked for a couple other manufacturers, and, and you know, it's one of those things you could definitely see the passion with these guys um, and also with the product they put out. Very musical guys. Um, they Some of the guys compete over in Asia and Europe and they're actually active in the circuit, which is awesome to see too. Obviously, 2020, we didn't see much from them because none of that happened. <laughs> well, they won, a, they won a few product awards over there in Germany. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, the, um, M, um, was it the Emma Awards or no? A couple of the Emmas, um, but... Asa? I, 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 I don't yeah. want to insult it by pronouncing it. Yeah, we're just going to, but they won some yeah. awards over there yep. For, yep. for the Mini DSP. Mini DSP, our plutonium line of amplifiers, are probably have the most awards of a lot of amplifiers that I've seen. I don't want to say of all amplifiers because I don't yeah, yeah. research that much, yeah, but yeah, yeah. We, it you, seems like almost every year the plutonium line amplifiers win awards on the high what's end. What's in the car? Uh, these are uranium amplifiers, so they're stepped down from the plutoniums. They're just stepped down, but we're going to take a couple minutes and take a look at what they are. We're going to step over into the car. Are you ready, Fernando? You want to go or not? Yeah. All right. You all set? Yeah. Don't forget to switch mics. 
I know, thank you. <laughs> All right, let's switch the mics and let's take a look at the back of the car. Oh, we need to wake it back up again. Hold on, we're gonna wake lights? it back up because it has pretty lights. Everyone likes pretty lights. All right. And we'll answer that question, Chris, when we get back to it. Hold on one second, but let's take a look at the car hang first. On. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna go and get... What are you gonna I get? Got, I'm gonna get my light, well, no. No, it's you're perfect. Fine. Just it's, give it it's a second. Good. It'll 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 do its thing. All right. All right. So talk to us. Tell us what we have, Tommy. So we have the Plutonium 10 SQ here. So uh, this is actually in a sealed enclosure on the left and right. So I have two Plutonium 10 SQ subwoofers. And then amplifier-wise, I have two six-channel uranium amp uh, amps. Uh, Why do you have two six channels? Because we wanted to go active left and right. Because um, he got money, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> it's in a camera, guys. Um, <laughs> the reason why is this is such a unique lineup. Um, the, the uranium lineup is actually where we start our adjustable AB bias amplifiers. So from here on up uh, to our high end, uh, we have the adjustable AB bias on there. And it was one of those things where I did not want to run three amplifiers in the trunk. Okay. okay. So two ginormous six channels made sense. So explain to me how we have them run. Uh, so we have one six channel running the left. Uh, so that'll run the, the dash tweeter mid. Um, and then we have the six and a half in the door. And then the rear two channels are bridged on the sub. And then mimic the right side. Okay. And I'm, okay. Also, and so I'm we... also using our six dash eight um, processor. Okay. So. Okay. All right. Now I got to follow. Channels one and two on the dash, three and four bridged on the Door. mid base, and then five and six bridged on the sub. Mimic that on the right side. Okay. What are we doing for DSP? Uh, running the six dash eight ground zero six dash eight. Okay. It does locate it. Uh, that's Here located the on the back side of the seat. Okay. It's okay. a nice pretty board back there. Um, similar cutout but smaller. Mm -hmm. Just kind of right now, pain in the butt because we've got a lot of camera equipment in the back no, seat. No, no, no. <laughs> Who did the install for you? Uh, Audio Source out of Columbus, Indiana. Uh, All right, guys. So if you guys in Columbia, Columbus, Indiana. Columbia? Right? I hope they're hey. <laughs> You guys can check them out. That's a nice. They yeah, did Matt's a nice, a nice job. And, uh, he's done some other vehicles in the past for, for me, and I love the work he does. And uh, he said he would do it. And uh, then Corona hit, and he had a lot of time with it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go and see the front the of the dash. dash. Yeah, head up All there. All right. Let me remove my sunglasses. Okay. Oh. I'm going to open it. What speakers are those up in the top of the dash? These are the plutonium three-ways. So tweeter, I think it's a 3.15, and then a 6 and 3 quarter. You want to try some outside in. I'm going to. I, I just want to see... And the car's a little messy because we did drive all the way from northern Michigan. There we go. So what size is that mid-range? Uh, I believe it's a 3.15. Is that the same size as the new one? Uh, I believe it's a little bit smaller on the uranium. Same thing? Uh, he's telling us it's the same size. <laughs> okay, maybe. I didn't look at the measurement on that one. I know, I'm going to ask all the different I'm looking at everything in give metric. Us, give us the so. name of the installer again. Uh, Matt Murray at Columbus, or sorry, at uh, Audio Source in Columbus, Indiana. And yes, I switched microphones. Perfect. No golf clubs getting in that trunk. <laughs> Somebody want to pop out from the trunk. I had to buy a roof rack. That's right. I was looking for the roof rack last night, and I was like, where's the we didn't need it this trip, and uh, it gets terrible gas mileage. I, I told, I told her, I was like, he's got this little, he's got the little like Honda or Toyotas. It'll have a roof rack. Just look for the car with the roof rack. <laughs> no, I, I like my forty miles per gallon. <laughs> we didn't yeah. need it this trip. If we would have had one more person. We would have had to use it. No, yes, they did do it. It does, trunk. it does look really nice. They did a really nice oh, job. Nice. And of course, I'm all for the stripper lighting. Yes. And what? Really? Did you get to turn it off again? No, it's kicker calling. <laughs> Dude, listen, we do a show every Monday night between 6.30 to 7.30. It's not like it's new. <laughs> okay, let's head over to the table. We got a few more new products to talk about, yes. and we want to get them done because we are pushing that hour hard. Ready, Fernando? <laughs> you get enough time to break? Look at that green woofer. How sexy is that? All right, ready, Tommy? One second. Oh, no, take your time. We got all kinds of time. 
Uh, Those tweeters look amazing. They are super cool. All right, ready? All right, yep. so All right here we go. Done. All right, hold on. on. Sweating underneath the hat a little bit. Yeah, we have that effect on people. Yeah. I'm all nervous swooning over here. What are we having here? This is uh, Ground Zero Hydrogen 12. All right, let me, um, let me turn this for you, Fernando. Oh, this okay. is a subwoofer we're really known well for in the States. Uh, kind of took took charge with, you know, everybody knows Chris Pate. Yeah. Um, he uses these in his MTI boxes a lot. Wow. So that'd be and Mobile Toys. Yep. Yep. You guys know those cool boxes that we, we played with last year. They were a great sponsor of the show. All right, talk to me. How much power handling? 1,500 watts RMS, 3,000 SBL. What does that mean? Uh, 3,000 if you go burp it. Okay, so burping. All right, so that's, <laughs> that's something I can understand. I don't, I don't play in the world of uh, SPL all that much, <laughs> although I can appreciate a super sexy, big-ass woofer. Oh, yeah. Because who doesn't like that? Get, get a look at the surround. Uh -huh. Look at this one. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, sorry. Put the nails. box over sorry. there. Now, where does this fall in the lineup of Ground Zero woofers? Because I know you guys have some that are smaller than this, which we have, and then there are some that are bigger than this. Yeah. So where does so this, this is, fall? This is for people that love their bass, um, may want to want to get down and real hard it, or just get down um, but also it's very musical uh, that's one unique character about the the hydrogen line is yeah they're a ground pounder but they up. they also are very musical um, hold on let me flip it 180 there we go in our line setup you, if you look in the catalog or you look you know look online it looks like it's right in the mid-range of our stuff the one unique char characteristic about ground zero is it's we don't just specialize in sound quality or SPL. We kind of specialize in carrying the whole triangle all the way up. So we have, you know, our radioactive stuff that kind of starts with the entry level, um, ent entry level SPL, entry level SQ. Um, we do have a, the iridium below that, which is kind of more of our, you know, deck and four or small little microamp and four, nice little upgrade. And then you get up into, um, you know, the uraniums and then the hydrogens uh, is more of a subline. We do have the hydrogen mini amps, which y'all are doing in the car that was slated for Orlando. Yeah, one of these yeah. days that'll get yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, funny that you mentioned that because like, I was going into the website and yeah, you guys have from the entry level and then you know, well, I well, want to spend a little bit more and then I'm going to yeah. spend a little bit more and then I'm going to go crazy. I yeah. have... You so know? what were the ones in your car that we were just looking at? These are the Plutonium 10 SQs. So what do those fall in relationship to this? Um, well, obviously this is a more of an SPL side. Um, I mean, this in, is in, a couple steps down. This, so you have this is, this is a couple steps down. Yeah, you have hydrogen. Oh my gosh! So you have hydrogen. Yes. Uh, uranium, nuclear, plutonium. Now one of the things that we've talked about in the past is is this one rebuildable? Yes, you can re do a recone kit. So you guys recone. sell reconing kits yes. for this woofer and several for of the other For radioactive ones. and up, we sell recones on it. Okay. So if you're one of those guys that is an SPL guy and decides he wants to get this and do bad things, you can rebuild it if you break it. Yep. What I like is because you guys match the stitching. Yep, and one unique thing the about the 12s and the 6s is they're available in yellow or green. Mm -hmm. Everything else in this line is available in yellow. Why is that? Uh, black and yellow is their color. I knew that. Uh, I mean, but they, they, these are most popular uh, with the sixes and the actual twelve. So they, they offer them in green or yellow. I like, I like that green. song. I like the I like dust the cap. Oh yeah. my gosh, the dust cap is cool. Yeah, I I've always dig the dust cap and the rubber. So we have the leads. And and on top of that, I'm yep. actually going to leave this guy with you. <laughs> because I'm going to send you guys something else to <laughs> test with it. <laughs> Look at your face. So <laughs> Nice. They'll be able to hear more about this. Now, one another unique character about uh, GZ subs is um, with our voice coils. Yes. Uh, a lot of companies have a little bit more tolerance in their voice coil gap. Okay. We go with a, a, a closer voice coil gap. Uh, to have more accuracy, you know, all that characteristics to to have a better sounding subwoofer. Uh, so when you're building a box, you know, definitely know know how to build a box because 
If you're not building it right, you can create a vacuum chamber on one side of it and it kick it sideways and you're going to hear a little ting where it's not aligning right. So that is a big important factor where a lot of subs have a larger voice coil gap to avoid that, you know, but you sacrifice some quality in the sound on top of it. That is really nice. I like it. All right. Well, let's give Fernando's arm a break. We'll come back over here to the table. Turn on that microphone. Off, man. <laughs> Whew. All right. Let's talk a little bit since we talked about uh, Ground Switch Zero. What's that? I did switch the mic. Switch the mic. Awesome. I, I remembered this time. You, you, every you time only got to tell me once, man. You only got to tell <laughs> well, me once. Well, before that was Air the compressor. compressor. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah we got to tell us that every week. Give me a break. All right. Let's talk about. Uh, so we talked about Ground Zero before. Let's talk about Sound Digital a little bit now. Give us a little bit of history lesson on that company. Okay. Um, Ground Zero. Um, it is, you know, a Brazilian company. We're in the southern port, uh, port of Brazil, kind of known as the technical hub. Uh, we have 17 engineers on staff. Um, I believe overall, we we have about, I want to say, 150 employees down there. Um, okay. It's a pretty big operation. Uh, everything is sourced in, from Brazil. In Brazil, a lot of people don't realize, you know, there's a huge import tax for Brazil, so sourcing everything there and finding all the materials we need is very important to us so we can keep our prices where they are. Um, so, you know, MOSFETs, they befriended a company down there in Brazil and, and actually developed a relationship and that's our MOSFET, MOSFET provider, you know, all that type of stuff. So, um, it, the other unique thing about it is, as you've seen with Power Sports that we're getting ready to release, Evo X, we listen to the dealers and when they request we got enough demand for something we actually try to make it um the owner himself is the head engineer head designer i, I was gonna ask that because it um, seems like he wakes up in the middle of the night with an idea for an <laughs> amplifier and like six months later there's an amplifier to represent that it might even be quicker than that yes, yes. <laughs> you guys do have one of the fastest turnaround from he, conception to on like there so yeah. power sports was discussed um and within 48 hours it was designed on a cad by him that's pretty impressive. Yeah, it is. So, very nice. so he, this was his high. This was his college. Yeah, it started out as a college project, um, and then it turned into him, you know, building amplifiers, or, or, or I guess you could say, customizing amplifiers uh, down in the competition circuit for Brazil, uh, for his friends, and then it came into him designing his own amplifiers, and you know, now we're at Sound Digital today. Um, 2006 is when we started. 2000, I think 2016 is when we came into the United States. So it's one of those things where um, there it is. This my is little, one of the things that my little cutie. most people know us for is this little guy um, mm -hmm. and the 601 version of this. Uh, no longer available. Um, yeah, has a has a <laughs> little staple like, here. Now. I go, dude. You you have these in the price. You are telling me that you better. <laughs> I, here's my money. Give me one. <laughs> So, um, but yeah, so I mean, ultimately it's, it's one of those things we, we hit the market and, you know, we made off with, you know, with, with, uh, sound digital, it took off very well in the motorcycle market, obviously because of the size and everything, uh, unique, you know, interesting fact is we are a car audio company and our, you know, our amplifiers happen to work very well in the, in the bike market. Um, so, you know, especially with the 12.6 and the efficiency ratings that, um, we have that, you know, in those amplifiers, it, it, it definitely one of the things we love, you know, the bike guys love it. And that's so. why the, the new, the new blue line is. Yeah, we, uh, we wanted to make sure that people were protected. Um, obviously, uh, you know, now that the bike market is strong as it is in car audio in general, you know, or in the 12 volt market, um, you know, people are getting more risque with it and doing power, you know, doing ATVs, doing slingshots, doing jeeps you know that type of stuff with it because such small power you know small chassis with large power uh, it makes sense to use it in those vehicles and so we just wanted to make sure you know we could protect it from the elements protecting your wallet all right we're gonna head back over the table because we got one more thing yes. we want to show you guys and this is one of those things that i get really excited about for no other reason than it just it's cool i mean right all right ready are you Let's ready go. fernando Let's here go. we go So this is a... Uh, Let me get you some room here so we can spread this stuff out. 
Hold on, let me move this guy. Oh, it's so heavy. You're calling out of work. Just put tomorrow. it in my car. <laughs> All right, so what are we having here? We have RCAs. Yep. We have a ground. So, ultimately, um, back in 2020, we had a we had a shortage of something. Okay. Uh, everything. <laughs> everything, but entertainment, life. One thing was big shortage of that kind of could affect our business, and it was these guys right here. Um, amp power kits, wires. power wires, uh, were big shortage. So in 2020, we had a connection with a Finnish company called Four Connect, and we were kind of been looking at this line since we guys actually met in February. We've been looking at the line, and Jacob's been testing all these products back at his lab, and um, I came down and got to play with some of it, and I was just like, oh my god, this is amazing. And we decided to bring in the kits to help out our dealers. Okay. Um, they did very well. Our reps and our dealers go, That's can we get more than just an amp kit? Because ultimately we were just trying to help out. We weren't looking to bring an, another line in. Um, and, okay, what do y'all need is what we asked. Uh, we, they're like, we like power wire by the foot, RCAs, uh, of various links, all that jazz. So what you're looking at right there is the stage two RCAs. So, so it this has, is our entry level. Okay. So this we'll is start the, with oh, stage this one. two is entry level. Yeah, this is just a shorter version. Okay, I was like, wait a minute. Okay. They look the same. <laughs> yeah, stage two is our entry level RCA. Now is this a drain wire or remote turn on wire? Uh, drain wire. Okay. So, so everyone will use it as remote turn on wire. <laughs> yeah. I cannot control the masses. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so we have a yeah. nice metal end yep. with multiple multiple points of contact instead of just the standard four so that's pretty nice I like that it's rolled in so that'll bite good where's let me, let me get into this guy here oh yeah hold on oh that bites good yeah. oh sorry Fernando ow that was my head <laughs> that was your face yes yeah, so you got a nice bite in there it really digs into the RCA so I like wow. that that's kind of cool and All then right. we have oxygen free copper yes so uh, this one comes in the kit, right? Yes. So okay. one, one 17 footer comes in the kit, or as the Europeans, five meter, okay. um, 5.5 meter. Uh, so you have the, you know, you have your mini A and L, yep. your four gauge power, right there, four gauge ground. Uh, it comes RCAs. With yeah. So yep. this comes with all, and, um, it also comes with loom. Yeah, so because, zip ties, all that and I'm has. sure there's probably some remote turn on wire that has. Uh, no, no remote turn on, unfortunately. Because it's, it's right here in the drain <laughs> wire. Exactly. Well, we uh, need a remote turn on, man. Right? Yeah. Okay. Now I'm not. I'm gonna ask just because I, I want to torture you, and I know you're not gonna have the answer, and it's okay. But you don't know the strand count on this, right? No, I do not. That's Jacob, okay. Uh, Jacob uh, is gonna be the uh, the nerd for this one. And he's gonna have to individually count his baby, each one of those. So. Um, I just wanted to make sure I brought samples by because I knew you guys were asking me about it, especially after a teaser pick the other day. So. And you say, okay, so we have the stage two amp kit. Yep. Of course, we have a smaller RCA. So do you know the sizes that they come with in the RCA? So the stage two, it'll go from 0 0.75. 0 0.75? Yep. Me like meters. Okay, meters. okay. So like a yeah, foot and everything's half. Because it's European, everything's Okay, so... Foot and um, a half, three foot. One, 1.5, 3.5, 5.5. 5. Okay. And then we'll, have, we'll actually have a four channel and a six channel in this line. Oh, wow. Well, that'll be nice. That's or nice. I should say, uh, and we're just waiting on the shipment. So that's. All right. This is. So before we get to that, okay. we do have a step Sorry. up I don't have with me. Okay. Um, the stage three RCAs. So the power wire is all stage two, but RCAs, we have different stages. Okay. Um, so we actually have a stage three. Um, I'll I'll send Who's you guys a sample wire? once I get those in. Is this the RCA? No, that no, is speaker wire. That. That's wire. speaker wire. This is speaker wire, and uh, when I can say uh, I've never seen Jacob so happy in my life. Is it a shielded speaker wire? Yep, shielded speaker wire. Okay. Wow, never seen so, that before. Uh, one unique thing about this lineup is um, Four Connect is designed by installers. All right. For installs. I'll just leave it there because I don't want to. Yeah. Insult anybody, but um, they are they are all about what works well with installation on the installation side of it. 
Um, and that's one reason why we really wanted to go with this company because everything made sense from an install, install standpoint. All right, so we totally ruined your sales pitch. Let's go back to what you were saying about the stage. So okay. stage three, um, I'll make sure you guys get a sample of those um, so once they come RCA. in. Yep, um, I'm not even going to try to explain those. That's okay. Um, but what we have here. Yeah, let's get to the goods. This is the stage five, and this is our second from the top of the line. All right, so um, this is what I want to show you. Here's, this is the second from the top of the line, okay. So here's the four gauge. Back right, there you go. So there's the four gauge and there's the RCA. Look, it's a red anodized end. How Highlight sexy out. Is that? Yeah. Ooh, and then you have a blue. Now another nice thing is compression fitting, so you can actually tighten it down. And one thing I le first noticed oh, about okay. was it was not round. So here in the Florida weather, when you're trying to do the install and your hands are all sweaty. I have no idea what you're talking about. You actually have all right, so grip. The, yeah. so let's, let's show them what we're talking about here. So if you'll notice, if you'll notice the distance here between the top of the RCA and the actual this part, I don't know what you want to call it. When you plug it in, if you turn, if you turn this like this, okay, and then you just hold it, that is going to lock that RCA on. So now that's going to be very hard to get off, but create a better connection. It's going to create a way better connection. So you put it on. You just keep turning it, and then the more you turn it, the tighter it gets, and then you don't have to worry about it just falling off. Then when you want to take it off, you do have to do the opposite. I've seen guys that have twisted these things on, and then they've forgotten. They've gone to pull these things off, and they pull the whole <laughs> RCA right out of the, you know, this whole external sleeve right out of the thing. Yeah. You're laughing because I know you've seen that happen. <laughs> and these are directional. This is our, okay. Yep, and what you'll so, notice. Let me see. Let's, let's go right here. On... Right on the ends. Oh, so we make oh, it very the simple. Ends. There's gold yeah. arrows. There you go. Which okay. way did he go? Ooh, look at that. So I like it. There is a step up. And no, I will never be a hand model. <laughs> All right, so there's a step up. Let's yes. talk about the step up. Uh, so, so real quick, the back to the stage. Oh, yeah, five. Yeah, stage yeah. fives oh, sorry. are not available at the moment. Okay. Um, actually, all this is uh, on the way. Um, the stage fives won't be on the way just yet. Um, okay. And they so make uh, 17 footers? These are 1, 1.5, and 5.5. Okay. So. Meters. So everybody yeah. knows what I'm talking about. Um, you have what? Five feet? So it's like four feet. Uh, like five feet. Go some. You see? I'm five Oh, feet. yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's true. I forgot. How tall are you? I'm five two, five one. So this is five feet. Okay. Yeah, it's like it's like maybe four eleven. Okay. <laughs> so that's for Nando size. This cool. This is totally for Nando size. Made him just for him. We made him just for him. Awesome. <laughs> and then all right. The next step up will be actually um, the the four let's connect solo. Let's, let's yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go there. Um, I believe I sent you those. I was looking uh, for it. I might have. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it. I have it, I'm sure. All right, so let's keep talking Why? Why I search. Well, I'm going to look for the picture, too, so that way if I need to, I can send it to you. Uh, but these are, I don't know if you want me to send that to you. Yes, send it to me. Awesome. Look this is the I'm. top of the line? Um, yes. Oh, one second, got to. No, no, it's okay. Save them all. It's all right. We're not live. <laughs> I could have swore, swore I sent them to you. Sorry, there's too many messaging apps that we use for work, so it's uh, always fun. Um, but these, um, I don't know if Jacob's in the chat. He can talk more about these if he wants to put No, them. it's okay. We don't have to get too <laughs> deep into them. We just know they make some really cool RCAs. And there we go. All right, hold on. Let's drag these here. Oh, I gotta go here with them first. All right. All right. All right. Now we can put them here. Now we can put them here. All right. Let's take a look. These are what? All right. So these are pretty neat. Let's take a look at this still. Um, all right. So this is the audio file RCA interconnect the solo. Yes. 
Ooh, yeah. um, Hi, that's me. That's Harmony. Jacob. Hi, Jacob. <laughs> Harmony, details, transparency. Mm. Yes, yeah, so these are going to be the obviously the auto file grade above the stage five. Um, there's a lot of differences in them. Yeah. I'm not as technical as Jacob is. Well, it looks like the ends lizards. are different. Well, I mean, we can always, bit. we can always, you know, once once we get our hands on, them, we can always go deep into there. But yeah. I, I think the moral to the story is is that you guys are now Ground Zero is now getting into uh, making interconnects to go with some of their higher end products uh, that they it's offer. It's actually a separate company. So, oh, yep, yep. perfect. So, so, so it's uh, it's Four Connect is the company. All right. Um, we're bringing in um, a nice selected of what we believe will work in the U.S. Um, you know, as far as power wire RCAs and uh, fuse you know, fuse holders and a distribution block uh, that Jacob is uh, picked out and believes will work. Uh, one unique thing about this company, like I said, it is uh, a company of technicians, you know, of techs. So it's uh, it, it's one built for installs, you know, not just to look pretty and you know show off. It's built to actually work with installs easier. You know, they, they thought about how stuff angles in, everything like that. Um, but Jacob's talked to him about a couple ideas on certain things, and they're like, oh, wow, that's amazing. Yeah, that, that really could be used. So hopefully we'll see that down the line, too. I don't want to go into details on that one because... <laughs> it's okay, man. You guys come up with new stuff every month. So, I mean, I think at this point we're pretty much used to it. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, guys, that takes us really close to an hour. Is there anything we forgot to talk about? Anything you want to... That I mean, we just went over a whole bunch of really cool stuff. Anything we, we missed? Um, it's okay. We, if we're good, we're good. <laughs> well, we do uh, we do have a new line of competition coaxials. Uh, or okay. sorry, competition components coming in. Okay. Um, I'll definitely send you all the information on that. Perfect. We'll talk uh, about them on the it. news. Yep. There'll be a six and a half component set and a eight inch component set. Oh, that ought to be interesting. Yep. Well, hey guys, first That's off, we'd it. like to thank Tommy Spears for coming on and spending his night with us and showing you guys some really Bring cool products. Yeah. We hope you enjoyed that. And for that, let's head over to, we got one last thing we need to do, which is, hold on, I'll get to it. Remind you guys that if you are a car steer installer or you just want to do car steer stuff and you wish you could find all the cool tools that we use, well, you can. We have them at dnftooldrawer.com. That's dnftooldrawer.com. You can find all the cool tools that we use to do our installation. If you want to have a cool shirt that says five star or it says, do you even zip tie, bro? Well, you can find that at teespring slash store slash five star. You can go there and pick up any one of the cool new shirts. As well as if you'd like to learn more information about the products we've talked about today, head over to groundzerousa.com as well as sounddigitalusa.com. And that is with 1D. 1D. Yes. Thank you guys so much for playing with us. Of course, you can find us during the week on Instagram where we do 5 Minutes of 5 Stars. So if there's questions you were just dying for us to answer tonight, we didn't do it because we had a guest and it was fun. Well, make sure you tune in there or head over to Saturdays when we do the YouTube show there. And like we just mentioned, Friday, of course, at 9 a.m. over on Dean and Fernando's Car Stereo Clips, that other YouTube channel we have, we do the news where we talk about all the cool things that we found throughout the week that we feel you guys should know to keep you up to date on what is happening in the 12-volt industry or anything to do with cool cars or anything like that. It's, it's a fun thing and quite amazing. Fernando, you're pounding on the table. What do you got? Yes. Nothing. That's, That's it. it. Really? You're excited? <laughs> His arm's probably going, man, I've been holding that camera for yeah. an hour. Thank you guys so much for playing along with us. You guys have a wonderful night as always. We'll see you later next time. Bye. Bye. Good one.